With watchOS 9, your Apple Watch workouts are now able to track your heart rate zones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable heart rate zones for your workouts, describe each of the five zones, demonstrate how the feature works on a run, and show you the post-workout metrics as they're displayed on an iPhone. And before we get started, you'll need to make sure that you have an Apple Watch Series 4 or above and that you've installed watchOS 9. How to enable heart rate zones. Many workouts are already programmed to show you your heart rate zones. However, if they're not showing up, you can easily turn them on. From your Apple Watch, first enter the workout app, then identify the workout you want, and tap the three dots in a circle to the right. From here, you identify the specific type of workout, whether that be open, time, distance, or something else. Then tap the pencil icon to the right, then tap workout views. You can swipe through or turn the digital crown to see what workout views are currently set up for this workout. Tap edit views, then scroll down to heart rate zones. If the green button next to include is toggled on, then that means your heart rate zones will appear during the workout. If it's not toggled on, then they won't. When I go back to the preview screen, I can see that the heart rate zone is toggled on and that it's the second workout view option for this particular workout. However, you can also reorder these watch views by tapping edit views and scrolling down to the bottom and tapping reorder. Holding onto heart rate zones will allow you to drag it to wherever you'd like it to be. Here, we've placed it at the top and tap done. And now we can see that it's the first workout view that we'll see when this workout begins. Heart rate zones explained. Heart rate zones are often used to monitor the intensity of your workout. Many gyms, such as Orange Theory Fitness and Nine Round Kickboxing, actually use heart rate zones to measure the effort of its members. And now you can do the same with your Apple Watch. There are five heart rate zones and all are based on your maximum heart rate. Your maximum heart rate is the highest number of beats per minute your heart can pump under maximum stress. One way you can estimate your maximum heart rate is by subtracting your age from 220. The heart rate zones that you spend your time in will depend on the type of workout that you're doing. Now let's go ahead and explain each heart rate zone. Heart rate zone one is 60% or below of your maximum heart rate. This zone is very light intensity and could easily be achieved with an activity like walking. You won't burn much fat in this zone, but it is ideal for stretching and recovery. Heart rate zone 2 is 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. This zone is light intensity, and even though the effort is higher, you should be able to spend a lot of time here and be able to carry a normal conversation. This zone could be achieved by a light jog, warm up, or cool down. Heart rate zone 3 is 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. This zone is moderate intensity, and your blood circulation will start to really improve. Here, you're burning a higher number of calories. Even though it's more challenging, you should be able to stay in this zone for an extended amount of time. Heart rate zone 4 is 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. This zone has a hard intensity and the demands are much higher. You'll find breathing harder to do, but after repeated efforts here, you'll see improvement in your overall endurance. Working out in this zone will give you the afterburn benefits from EPOC, which stands for Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption. And that means that after the workout, your body will burn more calories with its elevated metabolism. Heart rate zone 5 is 90% or higher of your maximum heart rate, and it's your maximum intensity. If you're a beginner or have only been training for a short period of time, you likely won't need to train at this level just yet, since the demands are extreme. This zone is more for athletes who are seeking peak performance. Automatic and manual heart rate zones. By default, your heart rate zones are automatically set, but if you'd like to choose your own, you can. First, go to settings on your Apple Watch. Scroll down to and tap workout. Then scroll down to and tap heart rate zones. You'll see options for automatic and manual. Here it's set to automatic and scrolling down, I can see what my resting heart rate is, maximum heart rate, and the specific ranges that fall under each heart rate zone. Here Apple says that automatic heart rate zones are calculated using the heart rate reserve method. Max and resting values are automatically updated on the first day of every month. If you wanted to set these to manual, just tap manual, tap on any zone, then choose the ranges for each, then tap done. Now that we're all set, let's go ahead and test this feature out on our run. Heart rate zone demonstration. All right, so now I'm gonna test the heart rate zone feature on my Apple Watch during an outdoor run. So let's go to the workout app. There's outdoor run. Let's tap the three dots to see if heart rate zones are enabled. And the pencil icon, workout views. And I swipe, I see that it is enabled. So that's great. Let's go ahead and start this workout. And now I'm just gonna swipe up to get the heart rate zone workout view on. So starting off nice and easy, we're still in heart rate zone one. We've now entered heart rate zone two. Heart rate zone three. 
and heart rate zone four. So we're about five minutes into this run. I've been mostly in zone four. It says that I've been there for three minutes and 30 seconds. I know that there's an uphill approaching and if I sprint up that, I'm definitely gonna push myself into zone five. So let's see what happens. All right, zone five. Let's go ahead and bring the heart rate down. Okay, let's go ahead and see how we did on that 10 minute run. So average heart rate was 165. You won't see the zones on your watch, so you'll need to actually see the post-workout metrics on your fitness app. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Heart rate zone post-workout metrics on iPhone. So if you want to see that heart rate zone information in greater detail on your iPhone, go ahead and head over to the fitness app. From here, select the workout you want to get information for. And for us, that'd be that 0.78 mile outdoor run. And then you'll see that there's a heart rate category at the bottom. Across from heart rate, tap show more, and you'll see that heart rate zone information in greater detail. At the top, you'll see your average heart rate, the heart rate throughout the run on a graph, and each heart rate zone listed out with the amount of time you spent in each heart rate zone. Another neat metric is at the bottom where it shows your post-workout heart rate. And here it shows the amount of time it takes your heart rate to drop. So that's the new heart rate zones feature on watchOS 9 Explained. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness app content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.